Hey guys, it's Miriam Florio. Today we're going to be going over how to create a manual Dynamics 365 CRM backup and also how to restore from that backup. So I'm logged into the Office 365 portal with admin rights. You're going to want to make sure you have these, otherwise you won't be able to navigate to where I'm going in this video. So from the left hand side here, I'm going to select admin. And then I'm going to go all the way down to admin centers. Once I've clicked on that and expanded it, I can select Dynamics 365. So as you can see, I'm currently looking at my Dynamics 365 admin center. This is where you'll see all of your instances of CRM, including your sandboxes and your production environment. You might only see two or three here or even only one instance if that's all you have. When you click on the instances, you can actually see information about the instances, including a copy function. We're not gonna be using that one today. We'll actually go over to the backup and restore tab. So what Dynamics 365 automatically does is takes nightly backups of our database, which is nice, we don't have to manually do this, but sometimes in the case where you might be performing a major action on your CRM database, you might wanna perform a manual backup. An example of this might be you want to import tens of thousands of records into Dynamics 365, but you want to make sure you can go to the backup rather than going all the way to the nightly backup, and that might mean losing a lot of data. Creating a backup is really pretty simple and doesn't take that long, so it's really a good measure to take. So I can select what instance I want to create the backup for, and then simply click on New Backup. We'll give the backup a name in the label, so we'll call it Manual Backup. December 2017, and then you could put some notes in it if you want additional information to save. All I need to do now is click Create. So once I've clicked on Create, you can see the Backup and Restore tab is now showing me that the backup that I've created is currently being created under the status. Once it's completely created, it's going to say Available on it. So we'll just wait for this to complete. Okay, so the instance is now available, and as you can see, I have it highlighted. And on the right-hand side, it shows me options for this manual backup that I've created. I could edit, delete, or restore from the backup. So we're gonna select Restore. And of course, if you create a backup, there'll be time in between. Um, you simply need to select the target. So which CRM instance are we going to be restoring this to? So the nice thing is we can select it. I'm going to choose the same instance that we backed up. So the good news there is you could actually restore your backup to a whole nother instance, which is nice to be able to do. Once we set that up, all we need to do is click Next. And we can view the confirmation of a restoration. If everything looks good, simply click on Restore. Now you've successfully restored from your backup. Hopefully this was helpful. Join me next time for more tips and tricks on Dynamics 365.